Have you dreamed about getting around without using a drop of fossil fuels? Because we have three different ways that you can do it. Zero emissions, 100% brilliant. Trace here for D News, and I have always wanted a Segway. I would totally buy one. They're really cool, and my mom has a Volt, which she loves, and the Tesla Roadster is, I mean, look at it, it's beautiful. All electric vehicles are here for the long haul. But outside of the automobile universe, you don't hear a lot about all electric vehicles. They do exist, though. I did some hunting and I found three different ways to move around without using a drop of liquefied fossils. This is definitely the most awesome one. It is an unmanned aerial vehicle built by NASA and it's an all electric airplane. It's part of the NASA Helios project and it is totally badass. Look at it. Back in 2001, one of these babies set the non-jet propelled flight record going up to 98,863 feet. Then in 2003, another one was flying and hit a patch of bad turbulence went into a spin and crashed. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't get me wrong, I do love watching really expensive technology break, but ooh, that sucks. Electric flight isn't anything new. In the 1880s, a couple of French army officers strapped some battery-powered propellers to a giant dirigible and were able to steer it around, and that meant that they could take off and land in the same airfield, which in the 1880s was kind of a big deal. Today, you can still rent all electric airplanes, but they're only two-seaters, and they're not particularly useful for anything commercial. They're more just kind of like go up and buzz around. The problem with electric vehicles is the batteries. The batteries are just too heavy, and they take take too long to charge and you know but we are working on that. In 2015 when this ferry is commissioned and goes into service in Norway it will have a 10 metric ton battery to power the whole thing. It'll carry 120 cars and almost 400 passengers back and forth multiple times a day. The battery is gigantic. Again 10 metric tons but it charges in only 10 minutes. We can't exactly carry around 10 metric ton batteries though, so let's back up a bit. Batteries are essential in all forms of spacecraft, and since the 1950s, NASA has been working on an all-electric rocket. So our third form of all-electric power is an ion drive. It was actually launched in the 1960s, but before you get your hopes up, it doesn't launch anything off of the surface. They need to use a regular rocket to get it up there, and then once it's up there, it can move satellites around. It doesn't really create that much thrust. So it looks like all electric vehicles are more limited to cars right now. The US Department of Energy says that we are getting more and more interested in all electric vehicles every year. So how do you feel about them? Would you get one? Do you have one? Let us know down in the comments and subscribe to DNews so that you can get all of our videos every day. You can find us here on YouTube, you can find us on iTunes, Twitter, Facebook, even on Google+. Just so you know, in case you're out there looking for us, every day, Monday through Friday, we used to do three videos. But now we're switching to doing two videos every single day of the week, so you can even get your DNews fix on Saturday and Sunday. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single one, and thank you very much for watching. We appreciate it. See you later.